all right in the last video we left here now in this video we'll try to add the font that we are going to use so let's just uh, create new folder under note keeper uh, root folder so let me just create new folder called assets okay and inside asset i will create one more folder called fonts all right here we are going to add a font that we are going to use in our application so let me just grab the font and paste it here so i'm just going to paste right under this so i will also add in github repo okay okay so we have the font over here now uh, to add font in our application we will have to go to pubstack.yml file which is uh, over here and let's just come down let me just make it a little bit bigger here you can see we can add font in this way but let me just delete here and add this so we are adding font family of sense and then font all right we are the three font which we have added in fonts we are using in the same way here okay so this is how we are going to use fonts let me just call pub get and come back to main dot dot and now here we are going to use the phone here now to use that phone let me just uh, change this to deep orange i think yeah and text theme all right and yeah i just pasted uh, one text theme here let me just make it constant so this is the text theme that we are going to use throughout our application so that we don't have to create a style again and again textile again and again all right so to see whether it is working or not let me just come back here here normally we just create textile textile and then you can write font size and all but now we don't have to do we just have to call theme dot off then we can call like dot then text theme dot then this any of this style okay so let's just say I'm, i will use this headline five so headline five as you can see our phone just change it to you know bold and bigger right so this is how we are going to use and throughout the application we will use this stack style okay so yeah so we just edit this font and now we can use this font anywhere in our application all right so in the next video we will do the setup for uh, database as well